Prosser announced it uh, this afternoon that they're officially entering or have had their entry accepted uh, into the 34th America's Cup. Now, with, I guess for a while it's been rumoured that they were, once the uh, stock exchange announced the approval of the money, uh, that they were probably going to do it. But they still had to get accepted because the protocol still allowed uh, rejection of entries after May. So they've been accepted. What, what was rumoured but wasn't, the ex- and I'll really talk about the extent of, was um, how they, what that really meant uh, in terms of how you would enter the America's Cup this late from a standing start. Uh, and, and for a period of a few months, uh, we've been discussing with them, we as Emirates Team New Zealand, a, a collaboration, joint collaboration of, of uh, sharing of all resource, uh, primarily design in the first instance, where uh, they would uh, take boat one, our boat one, which is just about to commence building, would build an absolutely identical boat in every, from every nut and bolt um, layer of carbon fibre, uh, and then move on to potentially develop either a, a, a change to that boat or a, a, their own second boat as we move on to our second boat. And effectively that came to pass, but it expanded as it came together too, because um, they have also employed a small design team and collectively those two design teams, our big design team, which already has a boat design, and their smaller one can start to feed in for, because this is such a new class, no, not one team's ever going to have thought of all the answers at this point. So with the people that they've also employed, we can actually start to share in what we may have missed. So, so those boats commence building immediately. Uh, they will build their, uh, under the deed of gift, as you guys know better than me, the, the uh, hulls must be skinned in the country of origin. And they will build the hulls for the boat in Persico. And then the whole, those hulls will be shipped to New Zealand for finishing off and assembling uh, with the wing and all the parts. And just to put it in perspective of what that means in terms of uh, the, the New Zealand industry and how it benefits from this. One of these boats is around, and I say around because we actually don't know yet, 60,000 hours. Uh, in the hulls, at molten hulls, for the molds for the hulls, and the hulls is probably about 15,000 hours, something like that. So, so about 45,000 hours of that boat will be will be done in New Zealand, uh, including wing, and then they'll go on to a second wing after that. So the New Zealand industry is a big a winner in this. Uh, they will come to New Zealand. They'll build a base. They've taken land in New Zealand, and they'll build a base in New Zealand. And we will start training uh, effectively com- separately in one respect because under the uh, we've got to be very mindful of the protocol and the protocol prevents any uh, collaboration and design after the end of next year. So prior to that, we can share everything, and um, we will. It's a very open agreement, totally transparent, back-to-back contracts in terms of builders and suppliers and everything. Uh, and, that, and they're probably, in fact they are, the only team that we could ever work with because the country has still got a love affair with Luna Rosa after the 2000-2003 uh, environment. Uh, they're very open, they think very similar to us in terms of what they believe their idea, the ideals of the future of the Cup should be. And um, in, in, in Bertelli you've got a very straight guy that says it how it is. Uh, and we have absolute trust in them and they have absolute trust in us. So, so it's unique as far as I'm aware. It's never been done in the history of the Cup. Uh, it is kind of the, uh, the sport of secretness and uh, deceit has got blown apart by this deal, frankly, because this is about completely open, shared, shared and trying to create two teams that simply go faster. And I hope that, um, well, I know that it'll, it'll certainly benefit us in lots of ways. It benefits the New Zealand industry. Um, and and uh, it's, I think, a great uh, credit to the Emirates Team New Zealand design team and, and the boat builders in New Zealand that, they, that, that, that Luna Rossa has seen fit to take enough confidence to enter the Cup this late uh, and join, join with us to uh, hopefully create a greater force for both of us. Some of the total, some of the individuals creating a greater force. And that's basically it. Uh, that's about it five minute summary of a hell of a lot of talking over the last month and a half, I can assure you. <laughs> so yeah, I mean you've seen the announcement, I mean just out, far away, it's pretty obviously 
Eccoci, siamo con Matteo, Matteo De Nora, eh, Emirates in New Zealand, è stato appena fatto l'annuncio da Grand Alton sulla collaborazione con Luna Rossa, eh, in sintesi ci può ricapitolare i punti chiave di questo accordo per il futuro della Coppa? Beh, tanto è un accordo di collaborazione, quindi le informazioni e l'aiuto vanno nei due sensi. E poterlo fare con Luna Rossa, oltre a essere interessante dal punto di vista della loro esperienza e, e anche una, secondo noi una buona scelta perché abbiamo un po' la stessa visione di quello che dovrebbe essere la Coppa e di quello che potrebbe essere la Coppa del futuro. Quindi sono molto contento, è qualcosa alla quale abbiamo pensato da molto tempo, ma è un accordo che è incominciato pochi giorni fa e al quale siamo dedicati sono da qualche settimana. Ho capito, quindi un accordo sulla visione della Coppa del Futuro ci lascia pensare che non siete, né voi né una rossa, soddisfatti dell'attuale status della Coppa America. La domanda è se avete la stessa visione per il futuro si può presupporre che l'attuale visione non vi soddisfi in pieno. No, guarda, il, il filmato della Coppa America non è necessariamente uno solo, nel senso che diverse formule possono funzionare. La critica più importante a questo punto direi che la Coppa è troppo costosa rispetto sia a quelli che sono i budget ottenibili dai team che sia a quello che è il periodo economico di questo momento. Uh, I bilanci comunque bisogna farli alla fine tra due anni di fatto. Ok, quindi questo accordo anche dal punto di vista economico è conveniente per entrambi, sia per Luna Rossa che per voi, diciamo. Sì, eh, credo che Luna Rossa, essendo entrata così tardi, doveva comunque associarsi a qualche duro. Fa parte un po' del programma a lungo termine di Team New Zealand di avere un'organizzazione a tempo pieno che eventualmente vende la sua tecnologia o aiuta altri team a crescere. Quindi che va bene per tutti e due, il vantaggio economico è sicuro, però è soprattutto un accordo di cooperazione e di vedere se tutti noi possiamo diventare più forti grazie a questa cooperazione. Perfetto, quindi tutto, c- tutto ciò non farà che creare diciamo, due sfidanti più forti di quanto fosse il solo Emirates in New Zealand contro Oracle, diciamo. È un bene per la Coppa questo dal nostro punto di vista alla fine? Sì, beh, non l'avremmo fatto se non lo pensassimo, ma i 20 di lancio li facciamo alla fine. Perfetto, grazie mille.